Here to help us show you the versatility of these wonderful products is Sally Strauss from Activa Products. Sally, tell us a little bit about these two wonderful products. I'd like to first tell you about Instamol, which is a mold making compound. It is amazing. It picks up minute detail and makes wonderful replications. In this medium, you can cast with plaster, per our permastone, wax, resin. So it's very versatile. It is very, very versatile. Now you must understand this is a non-permanent mold that is good for about 10 castings and then you should replicate the object additionally okay. and make a new mold. Before we look at some of the finished ones, maybe we'll take a look at this mold. Now I wish I could have you feel it, but it feels very cool and almost wet. It does and it looks and feels just the way hard boiled egg white feel. That is the consistency that's here. I'd like you to look at this and look at the detail that this product can duplicate if you want to make a mold. About how many could you make from this one mold, would you say? About 10. Okay. Because that is, there is quite a bit of water or liquid in that. And the longer it's exposed to air, the more it dries out. Now, if you choose not to make your replications the same day, mm -hmm. all of them, you should cover that mold with a damp paper towel, put it in an airtight box in the refrigerator, and then you can go back in two or three days later, finish your... And complete... Yes, you that. can complete the project. But don't leave it on the workbench. If you do, you're going to go back and find that it's dried and cracked. So it has to be kept in yes. the refrigerator mm -hmm. and damp. Let's look at the candles that you've brought. Now, those are all done using which product? That was done... I used the candles are sitting on the object that uh, from which I made the mold. Oh, of course, I can see that now. And that was done in Instamold. And Instamold does accept wax. So I, you know, melted my w colored wax and poured it into the Instamold and put the wicks in and your voila candles. Beautiful votive candles. We can mm -hmm. also look at the small candles that we have over here. Now those could also be done with soap as well as wax? Yes it can. Any medium that is pourable, that is mm -hmm. under 400 degrees, Instamol accepts. You could not make molten tin soldiers, you know, right. those lead soldiers. What about this beautiful heart? Now that's got a glisten to it. That's not wax. No it is not. That is resin. Oh, okay. And you can do resin casting using an Instamold mold. Now, if we look at these, this has a very different texture to it. What are we doing with this now? That is uh, Instamold, and that is a one-part mold. And it, that was, I just replicated a little statue that I had and then painted it. So and it that, actually comes out of the, out of the mold looking yes. like this. And you can see the minute detail that, that Instamol picks up when you look at the underside of that mushroom. Of mushroom. Most definitely. This is a beautiful project. All the different colors and things. And that, again, is cast with the same thing? It is. I took a little angel and made the Instamol mold and then mixed permastone and poured it in. The same thing for the fruit. Sally, why don't we just... Do it step by step and show them how easily we can make this mold. I'll be glad to show you, Kate. The instructions for your strength mold are on the back of the canister. You measure it. This is almost like baking a cake. You want to measure it. Carefully. And carefully, <laughs> and I do suggest that you sift this because many times in shipping it packs down okay. and like cake flour it works better if it's aerated. This has been sifted and we are going to put it in our bowl here. Now the instructions for the amount of water that yeah, you need the, are... The amount of water are on here and you generally use two parts water to one part inst Instamold. Does it have to be hot water or cold? Uh, 
If it's a warm day, it's probably better use it pretty cold. Okay. If you, the, it, the, fat, the hotter the water, the faster the set. And very slowly, and you want to use, I use a whisk because you really do not want lumps. And you do not want to beat a lot of air bubbles in this. So keep your whisk down on the bottom and then just very slowly sift this. Add it to the liquid yeah, and mix you, it slowly. You add it, mix it slowly, and well, you can't go too slowly because Instamold sets up in two and a half to three minutes. You must submerge the object that you wish to replicate while this is still liquid. Okay. So what you're going to do is we're just going to use this bowl as a mold right now. It does dissolve rather quickly It and does. It goes very quickly and very smoothly. And interestingly enough, this is the consistency in which you should put your object okay. to take the impression. In two and a half to three minutes, it sets up and it looks just like the mold of the corn over there. Now, what did you use as your base here for this mold? That mold, I just happened to have a little piece of foam handy. It depends on the object that you wish to replicate. Uh, if you are doing something small, like a thimble, you would obviously use a very small container. If oh, you are going to take an impression of a hand or a foot, uh, for a foot, I would suggest a bucket. So you actually could put your hand right into the mold? You absolutely. Make... I could put my hand, if this were a flat container, I could put my hand in here and hold it for about two and a half minutes until this had set around here. I could pull it out and this literally pulls fingerprints. That's the detail that it picks up. Well, it must be certainly non-toxic then, Sally, absolutely. if you can put it on your Absolutely. It is totally safe and totally non-toxic. Chefs use it for ice and large sculptors. Oh. And if you wish to take, uh, you know, replications of cut pieces of fruit, strawberries or anything, you would not have to throw it away. It's perfectly safe to eat that fruit after it has been into Instamold. Wonderful. What's the next step? The next step is your casting medium. And this is permastone. And this is a wonderful, very strong bisque white. It is much stronger than art plaster. If you drop it, it might, I'm not going to tell you it won't break, but it will shear clean and can be mended. Okay. Now this you add the powder to the water and here you have very little water and you want to for this particular process this again has been sifted to aerate it some and you just very very slowly add this to the water and you want to build a little mountain in the middle. You do not want to stir this because that starts the thermal action. Okay. You just very slowly let this go into the water and I will show you. I'll tip the cup in just a minute to show you. You see, it's funny how, how readily that's being absorbed. Right. And then you reach a point where it will, will absorb no more. And we stir that. Oh, and it gets thick almost and immediately. And see, it's creamy. Now, you pour the, we're then going to pour this in our mold. Now, will it set up very quickly? This is, you can remove this from this mold in about 30 minutes. You okay. should really let it sit and to cure and harden properly before painting and final decoration that should be done so you're overnight. Finished, your finished product then will look like this as it comes out of the mold. That's correct. And it's then ready for painting. And then it's ready after it has hardened overnight at least eight hours preferably overnight. Now there is some thermal action to this and if you would put your hand down there you would feel Oh, that, yes. You that can. there is a slight bit of warmth. There's but it heat. is safe and easy to use. It is. And it's a wonderful, versatile product. We hope that you'll try using both Instamold and Permastone to create objects that you want to duplicate in any medium that we've recommended. Thanks so much for joining us.